Okay, I'm going to show you how to use our ultimate vet to do a screen clean. I'm also going to show you how to do it manually if you don't have the vet or your machine doesn't have a screen clean function. So first of all, we do have a vet hanger that we've uh, printed out. The links are in the description below. Um, that's going to help when we hang it. Okay, so simply the first step is taking your vet and putting it down in the corner. You kind of just want to make sure that it makes contact but you don't have to squeeze too hard and I'm going to go tool I don't know if we can see that tank clean 15 seconds next and now it is for the next 15 seconds exposing the whole bottom layer so that it's hardening whatever is on the FEP and if there are little bits and chunks they'll come along with it okay it's complete so now we just have to pry it up starting with the left corner where I put it and going upward and you can see the beauty of that step clean it's taking anything that was on the bottom layer with it and I'm just going to hang it here to drip dry so I don't waste my resin and at the same time I have less to throw away. When I'm all done, I'll just peel off the hardened piece of resin and drop the whole of that into IPA. If there's any in the grooves underneath, they'll come off if you just leave it in an IPA overnight. Next up will be the video on how to manually do a screen clean. Okay, we're going to make a rectangular surface that will represent our vet clean. So in any CAD program, just design a quick rectangle. It really doesn't matter the size. The only thing you really want to make sure of when you extrude is it's 0 0.05 or your resolution of a single layer in your machine settings. Now we're going to export that. We're going to go ahead and open our slicer and bring in the model and we will flatten my face and then I'm going to also position this like so and then we're going to scale. We want to remove the lock ratio and you either input your screen size or you could just go ahead and get that close to the size. Oh. I do not want the Y to change the size of your screen. Just make sure the most important thing is your Y is 0 0.5. And there we go. Now you get single parameter slice. One thing you might want to do is make a new profile that only exposes the bottom layer for 15 seconds. I'm going to call this I'll call it a 15 second screen clean nothing else needed there single parameter slice and I'll save that as screen clean to my desktop and I'll be bringing that over to the printer to run it as a print So if you don't have a vat, you can do the same screen clean with supports if your machine has a screen clean function. If it doesn't, you could just run the print that I just showed how to do, um, Saturn screen clean, and I'm going to run the print while I kind of hold down the support. 
and it's going to take 15 seconds because that's what I told it to print. It's lowering the build head because it thinks that it's a print. It won't ex start exposing until the build head is in its position. You do want to remove your whole build plate from this because that's just going to get in the way. Okay, the build plate is down and it started exposing the bottom layer. It's going to last for 15 seconds, just like a screen clean. Okay, when it's done for ease of use, you'll want to raise the build head if it doesn't automatically raise back up. I'm going to grab a sheet of cardboard so I don't mess up my printer. And I can start prying from the left hand corner just like I did for the VAT tool. And this whole piece gets thrown away. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please let us know in the comments below what other tools and processes you suggest for resin cleanup.